All right, starting off here first with an older coin, we're going to look at all kinds of different coins in this video. This is an Indian head cent. Now this coin is from 1864, and you can see that the coin has not only been broad struck, which you'll see around the rim of the coin, but it has also been double struck. You'll see that as we zoom in there on the coin, uh, the design being double struck. Uh, so it is graded at a very low grade. It's only graded at a good six by NGC. However, all the value is in the mint error itself. Now this coin ended up selling for over $155 at auction. Had it been a much higher grade and better condition, it could have sold for a lot more money. Now here's another Indian head set. This is from 1864. This does have the L uh, as we zoom in there, we can see the L on this Indian head scent. So for the 1864, you will have uh, L or no L. This coin was struck off center, and this coin ended up selling for over $1,100, graded at an AU58 Brown by NGC. So here is an 1864 that does not have the L. It's graded by PCGS at a Mint State 63 Brown that was struck 20% off center. And this coin ended up selling for around $490. So nearly a $500 coin there. Here's an 1897 Indian head cent that was struck 15% off center. And this coin ended up selling for over $430. And then here is another Indian head cent from 1906 that has been triple struck. So we'll clearly see that there in the images displayed. You'll see the design of the coin triple struck. It is graded at a fine 15 by PCGS. So again, a lower graded coin here. This isn't like a high mint state grade, but all the value is in the mint error itself. And that's why this coin sold for $720 at auction. Now here's a 1946 Roosevelt dime. So this is a 90% silver dime here, graded by NGC at a mint state 64 with the full torch on the reverse. Uh, this coin has been broad struck, which you'll see around the rim of the coin. And this dime ended up selling for a little over $100 at auction. Here's a 1971S mint mark. This is the silver Eisenhower dollar coin. Uh, so not all of these coins are going to be silver. Uh, so keep that in mind. There's a lot of these that are just clad and very common and not worth much at all. Uh, it has to be in a uh, very high grade or have some type of mint error to be valuable uh, for these Eisenhower dollars. Uh, this coin has been broad struck though, again, which you'll see around the rim of the coin here. And this dollar coin sold for over $3,800. Can you believe that? $3,800 there for a dollar coin. Now here is another Eisenhower dollar coin. This one is from 1972. It is the D mint mark. And you can see here on the reverse of the coin uh, that the coin has been struck through a capped die. Uh, so you can look for die caps on pennies, you know, uh, nickels, you know, all kinds of other coins, not just dollar coins. And this coin ended up selling for over $3,100. Here's an Eisenhower dollar coin from 1976. It's got a lot of scratches on it. It's nicked up, right? Uh, it's graded at a Men's State 63 by Annex. And if we look here on the left side of the obverse of the coin here, you'll see a lamination error taking place. Uh, so this coin ended up selling for around almost $40. So it's not super rare valuable in this condition uh, with a, a minor little lamination there. You know, had it been a high, high mint state grade, mint state 68, 67, it could have sold for more money. Now here is a 1977S mint mark. Uh, now this is going to be the proof Eisenhower dollar coin. So it's going to be very detailed, have that mirror like finish. It's not going to be, you know, the regular business strike coin. This coin is graded at a proof 67 deep cameo by PCGS. And the reverse of the coin here has been struck through a copper staple. So a copper staple here, absolutely amazing, man. That is just an incredible mint error. This coin sold for over $4,300. Uh, $4,300 coin, man. You just can't beat that. Now here's a 1978 Eisenhower dollar coin that was struck 10% off center. This coin ended up selling at auction for $870. It is graded by PCGS at a mint state 63. Now here is a 1979 Roosevelt dime getting a little more modern here. The coin has been struck 10% off center. This coin is graded by Annex at a mint state 64 and this coin sold at auction for over $260. Now here is a 2000 D mint mark that has been graded by Annex. 
Uh, the coin is graded at an AU58. Uh, you see here on the reverse that it does not have the reverse design. It has like a mirrored image of the obverse design. And that's because the cloud layer was split after the strike. And this coin ended up selling for over $160. Now here's a 2018, 2018 P Mint Mark Roosevelt dime here. It uh, looks very normal on the reverse, but here on the obverse, we are missing that outer clad layer. And that's why the coin sold for $384. You know, the coin is also graded at a Mint State 64 by PCGS. So that will, uh, you know, help its value as well. You know, if it was at a you know AU grade it would sell for less if it was at a Mint State 68 it would sell for more uh, so the better the condition uh, the more it's going to sell for uh, here's a no dated Roosevelt dime you'll see that it has a full brockage this side of the coin looks very normal and then we have like a mirrored image of the reverse design this coin graded by Amex at a Mint State 62 ended up selling for $240 at auction. Here's another no dated Roosevelt dime. You'll see that the reverse looks very normal, but here on the obverse, we see that the coin has been struck through a late stage capped die. It also has a brockage as well. Uh, this coin ended up selling for around $75 at auction. It is graded by Annex at an AU58. So again, you could look for these different types of errors on other coins as well, not just, uh, you know, a Roosevelt dime. Now here is a no dated Indian head scent. Uh, so this coin, you know, yeah, it has some corrosion to it. You'll see that on the coin holder that NGC put that on there. It's got corrosion, of course, to it. So it's only going to be graded at a VG. Uh, but the mint error is where all the value is at. The coin has been struck through a fragment here on the obverse of the coin. Um, the reverse looks pretty normal, and this Indian head scent ended up selling for over $320 at auction. So feel free to check out my other videos here on the channel. We're uploading every single day. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.